What's up, guys? Mr. Potato Head here. So, what what is up with you guys? Why why are you already jumping ship? All right, Zodiacs literally don't even come out until this weekend for sneak peek, and then their global release is next weekend. And some of you motherfuckers are already trying to quit the game. Like a for shame in you guys. You know, like back in my day. We played through the shit tier formats. No, I lived Frog FTK. I lived the Triple Barrier Infinity format. Like, I don't know if you guys think that it's going to be too expensive. I mean, you have six board wipes at your disposal. Three Kaiju Slumbers, two Dark Holes, Regeki. You should not even be complaining right now because your deck has a good chance of beating Zodiac with board wipes. We all know this. I don't even know what Zodiac does. I just understand that. If you board wipe them, you pretty much are in a good position. So that's that's just me. I haven't learned all the combos yet. I just understand that Rat Pier is stupid insane. And that Minerva is like $1,200 now because fucking... She's evidently really good next format. So, but why? Why though? Why are you guys trying to to jump ship? You know? You're supposed to be loyal duelist. You know, like, you're supposed to fight from the heart. You know, like, believe in the heart of the cards and... All this fucking fantastic shit that you wake up in the morning and you're like, man, I want to be like Yugi Moto one day. And here you guys are. You're just quitting the game that you all apparently love. But it's okay, because we've already talked about how Yugi is an addictive drug, and it's like deleting Facebook. You're running away from home. You'll be back. Or you're going to, you know, read on what's going online, or you're going to go watch YouTube videos, and they're going to tell you what's going online. So it's not like you really didn't quit the game. You were just like, I'm making a committed effort to run away from home. But, once again, why though? You know, I, I guess I will give you the benefit of the doubt if you can't afford Zodiac format. But, um, if you're playing last format, you already have Solemn Strikes. You know, you should already have enough stuff to play ABCs. So, until ABCs get hit, um, you know, at the beginning of Japan's format, or why not, ABCs was the second most played deck. So, I mean, yeah, ABC's kind of lose the board wipes as well. But, you know, Dragon Turd can be resummoned on the next turn if you can somehow get through to your next turn. So, you know, like, I, it's, it's always amazing <laughs> the amount of complaining that I see coming from this game. And here you are, you have me making a video about people complaining. So that means I'm complaining about the complainers. See, see what we did there? This is, this is fucking Inception all over again. So, but guys, why why aren't you being loyal duelist? You guys are letting my my God and Savior Yugi Moto down. Like he died for our sin. No, nah, he went back to the underworld. <laughs> Movie spoiler alert. Just kidding. Only Yugi dies. So, but I, I is it is it because of financial gain? Do people think that formats are too quick? You know, we know that we're probably going to get a list at some point after Zodiac are running around for three weeks. Hey, you guys remember? You guys, you guys remember Bosch? You know, I remember Bosch. I hope you guys remember Bosch. Man, I loved Bosch. I remember. Do you guys remember? Man, that emergency list. <laughs> Good fucking times, man. Fucking Konami. You know, like if you're spending money on Zoom. And you are not prepared for that terror top hit. You're like, oh man, Konami will never do that. I'm like, I mean, I guess they can kill Invoker. I don't know why they'd kill Invoker over terror top, uh, because you know Madoshe kind of needs Invoker, and I don't want to see my friend sit in a corner and cry himself to sleep at night because Konami decided to put his testicles in a vice grip and squeeze them until they exploded, all because, you know. And Boker died, but it's it's something that could happen. Like we we made the segment yesterday about pre sneak peek thoughts, and you know like if you can get a case for like seven hundred for Tempest, it might be worth it to pick up a case. If if of course you're not bitching out of the game that we all have come to know and love, you know like we all we all fucking know that Yu Gi Oh is a fantastic game, you know like. It's a very skill-curved game. The amount of interaction that you and your opponent have is amazing, especially when Max C is involved. 
You know, like we don't have Ghost Ash yet, unfortunately, so we can't engage with the opponent on the opponent's turn. You know, Ghost Reapers might even go up in price, guys. Like, what if I Reaper your Tigress or your Bullhorn or your Drancia? Like, what are you going to do, though? But, like, I, I'll just be better than you if I resolve my Ghost Reaper. Like, no fucking way, guys. Mind fucking blown. Did you guys think about Ghost Reaper? Did you? I bet you didn't. I didn't. Mr. Potato Head didn't. Fucking Ghost Reaper. Man, I should make shirts and sell them saying that Ghost Reaper is the fucking out to Zodiac. I hope you guys are picking up on the amount of sarcasm here. Like, it's way too goddamn high. But anyway, back to the purpose of this video. Why are you quitting Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, well, you played last format. Shit was stupid. Just fucking ABCs everywhere. No metaphos. You know, you can play your metaphos Zodiac deck. It's a deck. You know, they ain't gonna hit that shit. You can play that variant. I, mean, I don't know why you ain't playing that variant. You know, if you've already got metaphos, you should already have D barriers. You should have picked them up for 40 bucks a piece. Now they're 70. Like, that's your fault as well. You know, if you, uh, you didn't prepare. I mean, everyone knew barrier was gonna be a thing. You know, like, even my body as a shield has gone up. You no, know, fucking Reggie's body's ready to get plowed by infinite Zodiac decks. You know, we have board wipes. Like, these are all things that our public knowledge and I'm gonna probably touch on another topic here but like you have the means to research these things I yeah like you know what you are doing you have the ability to go to the organization and look at Japan's list but I see people that starve for information you know, like I'm gonna get back into doing OCG deck list every week probably going to combine them into one video and be like this week in the OCG you know I miss kind of doing that um, kind of took a break from deck list because one John floods the internet with deck list like fucking just Noah's Ark just taking a giant piss everywhere and then you know um, people were complaining about short deck list when when you're like sixth week of Zodiac here guys we've changed one card in the main deck and you know, like, I do want to get back into the gradual swing of that to at least better educate um, my viewers on this channel. So, i definitely going to do that. But in the time being, why are you trying to quit Yu-Gi-Oh? You know what was happening. My friend saved $700 for this because he had a two months notice. Like, that's not a lot of money in retrospect over two months or six weeks. What is that, like... 120 something a week you know if you're working a good pay check job making what 12 13 dollars an hour 12 13 dollars an hour is not unrealistic for a lot of people you'd be surprised but you know once again it's just poor excuses and poor not preparedness and things like that so i don't i don't understand why what the problem is like yeah if you don't want to play zodiac don't play zodiac you don't have to play them. I mean, it's fucking ABCs. That's going to be my alternative for a little bit until I decide I want to spend X amount of money and pick up everything. Or maybe I'll be a cool kid and try that retarded uh, ABZ Zuniac variant. Or, you know, m may as well just pick up lawn mowings and just play 60 card infernoids for a little bit. Like, there are plenty of good alternatives to the metagame that people feel entitled and feel that they deserve to play the best deck um obviously it's a pay to a pay to do well format obviously it's always going to be that way it's you know Yu-Gi-Oh in general but I'm I think I'm just disgusted at the fact that you know we haven't even seen prices come out you know granted we already know that they're going to be expensive but just the amount of people in this game that give up you know like how dare you let down Yugi? You're supposed to believe in the heart of the cards. You always wonder why you go 0-7 in a regional. It's because you weren't believing in your grandpa's deck. Fucking sad memes 2017. Fucking we're one day from February and we already have fucking people trying to quit Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Zodiacs are too good. What are you guys going to do when True Draco Turbo comes out? And you're just kind of sitting here getting punted upside the face by fucking Dragon Rulers 2.0. Like, ugh. Just get, it all, get it all over me. Like Sally Mae. Like... Please. <sighs> Japan's in a triangle format. Zodiac. Mono Zodiac. Beats. 
He was Kaiju Zodiac. Kaiju Zodiac checks the True Draco Turbo. True Draco Turbo beats Mono Zodiac. So, I mean, we're not going to be there just yet. We're going to be in the, the pre-game uh, of the format, I'm going to say, for a little while. And we're going to kind of see where things are settling up. But, guys, why, why do you think people are trying to quit? Obviously, everything said in this video is from my own experiences, just things I've been seeing on social media. Uh, the amount of people complaining about things is always too damn high in this game. I mean, even I complain from time to time, but you don't see me over here fucking quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, I'm gonna try to suck up Tier Zero, the retard Zodiac format, shit like that, and see how things go. But yeah, guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. You know, also to the guy that said that I need some new shirts. Yeah. I know. Shit's expensive. I shop at the big and tall store. I enjoy my shirts being extra long, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.